This is the future. Good morning my fellow Cubsonians and today we're going to install this ceiling fan onto the ceiling. So obvious first step will be safety first, go and switch off the light at the DB board. We don't want any electricity. Next up is going to be removing this light. Now once the light is removed, as here, you obviously need to put in the mounting screws that's going to hold the whole fan together. So let's just see what we have in the box. We've got the blades and whatever holds the blades together. We've got some extra weights to help with balancing. Um, yeah, uh, extension, the manual, lampshade and the motor. But no gloves included, so you have to get your own gloves. Now make sure that your mounting screws are into the main support of your ceiling when you mount them. You don't want this thing to pull out of the ceiling because of the weight. Next up will be to install the extension onto your motor. And remember to put your electrical cables through the extension. Now I'm just pushing the cables through, making sure that everything is fine. Remember to loosen these screws to make sure that your extension piece goes in. And uh, at this point, I actually fired my assistant. He was being stupid. Okay, just remember to put your anchor pin in, and then your assembly is complete. Now, all you have to do is connect the cables to the ceiling and hook your mounting. You do need a second person to assist unfortunately because you have to connect the electrical cable up there. I decided to go with the wood grain on my fan blades. I didn't want to put the white side down, I think the wood side looks much nicer. So I installed it with the wood grain downwards. And there we go, one completed fan. Let's test. I must say the fan is much more effective in my kids room than the normal standing fan. It actually cools the room down better. So I'm really very impressed. And look, minimal wobble. That's what you like to see. You don't want the fan wobbling. And that's it guys. Very short and sweet video. Want to see that again? Let's go install the fan in my study. Same type of fan. Let's remove the light, obviously. And uh, oh, one tip for you guys. I struggle to put the self tapping screws into the ceiling. So what I do is I take a drill of a small drill point, and then I drill a guide hole first. It just makes it so much easier to put these stupid bloody self tapper screws into the ceiling. See, drill the hole. Put in the screw and tighten it in. It's actually so much easier. Because normally when I try and do this on the flat surface, it wobbles around. Then again, just put your earth together, your neutrals together, your life together, and connect it onto the connecting block onto the mounting base plate. At this point, my assistant was rehired to help me with the fans. Because at least at this point he cannot make nonsense. <laughs> and I'm actually teaching him what is left and what is right. Other way, buddy. There we go. 
And that's that guys, again, minimal wobble. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up, because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cryptzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcast if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be taken straight to the anchor podcast page where I do my podcast and remember when you go to my youtube page there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email and on my youtube front page there is now a paypal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me thanks for watching and until next time cheers